This is Echo 3, and let's discuss the Ares-1 rocket. Before the Artemis program, NASA had been working on the Constellation program. This project aimed to return astronauts to the moon in preparation for future missions to Mars. Using what they had learned from the Apollo missions and components from the shuttle program, NASA's plan seemed to make sense from an initial perspective. We are going to be looking at one aspect, the Ares-1 rocket and its crew exploration vehicle. There were two rockets being designed for the Constellation program, the Ares-1 and the heavy lift Ares-5. The Ares-1 was to carry crew into low Earth orbit, and the Ares-5 was for getting the lunar lander, the Altair, and the transfer vehicles into orbit. The crew on board the CEV, now called the Orion Multi-Purpose Crew Vehicle, would rendezvous and dock with the rest of the equipment in low Earth orbit, then continue the rest of their mission. The Crew Exploration Vehicle grew out of the Space Exploration Initiative from the 1990s. All this from the experience and technology gained from the Apollo and Shuttle missions. Some of the early concepts for the spacecraft were lifting body space planes, but a four to six crew capsule was ultimately the direction that NASA and Lockheed Martin ended up taking. The biggest capsule in the stock game only carries three Kerbals, but mods like near future spacecraft offer more options. Many aspects for how the CEV would have been are not known, as the Constellation program was canceled. We can look at the development of the Orion spacecraft to help with missing details. For propulsion, Aerojet Rocketdyne is refurbishing orbital maneuvering engines from the space shuttle to mount on the European service module. That is why I use the O-10 Puff engine for propulsion. Similar to the Apollo missions, the craft is equipped with a top-mounted solid rocket launch abort system. Using the action groups in the game, this system can work in a very similar fashion. The Ares-1 consists of two stages. The upper stage was to use Hydrolox fuel and an improved version of the J-2 rocket engine called the J-2X. The in-game REI-2 skiff from the Making History DLC was inspired by the J-2, so that's why I'm using it. After the cancellation of Constellation, it was thought that the J-2X may end up being used on the Space Launch System. However, engine development was paused in 2014. The first stage of the Ares-1 was to use a five-segment solid rocket motor like those used on the Space Shuttle. Some notable differences between the SRBs used on the two programs are that the ones on Ares were to be one segment longer. The removal of the attachment points for the shuttle's external tank and the addition of an adapter in order to attach to the upper stage. Also, the insulation, liner, throat diameter, and nozzle were changed. In the game, I'm using the kickback solid fuel booster because it provides the correct amount of thrust and delta V. In real life, the nozzle on the SRB is able to gimbal, but I had to add some small control surfaces in order to get similar performance. In the early 2000s, I remember seeing lots of promotional material for the Constellation project. The Ares-1 rocket I found particularly interesting. The bigger Ares-5 was interesting too, but it was to be the smaller Ares-1 that was to ferry humans into low Earth orbit. This was going to be the rocket to take crew to the International Space Station and perform the needed rendezvous and docking to get people to the spacecrafts headed back to the moon and hopefully Mars. I was very excited for this program. To me, the Ares-1 seemed like a cheaper and safer alternative for getting people into orbit. It looked like it was going to take many of the best parts of the Apollo and shuttle programs and push human exploration of space even further. However, this was not going to be the way forward. It seems that changing government administrations, changing priorities, greed, and technical challenges were too much for this project to overcome. Now, that's not to say that not much good came from all of this. The missions to explore near-Earth asteroids, the emphasis on private companies like SpaceX, the Orion capsule itself, and much of the SLS program were all influenced by this project. Sure, I wanted this to succeed. Its termination left a decade with NASA relying solely on the Russian Soyuz for access to the International Space Station. But I think that the positives in this case do outweigh the negatives. I am Echo 3, and thanks for joining me on this discussion about the Ares-1 rocket. I will see you next time.